Hey, hey guys. guys, welcome back to the JLT podcast. Welcome back, guys. It is our first official podcast in this house, which is crazy because this should have been our second one. <laughs> But, you know. The world had other plans for us. That's the reason. Yeah, the world had Europe in the plan. Guys, we just came back from France. And you guys might be a little bit curious. Like, bro, why are you guys back home so fast? You guys left two days ago. If you be, if you have been keeping up with, like, my stories, Nat's stories, we just left Italy. I mean, uh, to Europe, France in particular. But we've been doing something a little bit different for the past maybe two months. So, we have been posting, what is that called, the way we've been we posting? We have not been posting in real time. Yeah, we have not been posting in real time because a lot of you guys are like very, you guys are in anticipation. How do you how do you explain that? You know, like. Well, it was um, multiple things. So actually, I'm so glad you brought this up because I wanted to talk about this last podcast, but it completely slipped my mind. Um, oh, yeah, no, buddy. That's what we're not going to do. It's because I've been episode. stuttering. So look, I need to drink coffee. That is absolutely not what we're doing in today's episode. Natalie. That coffee is delicious. Good, Thank good you. stuff. Yeah, it's cafe. Can we turn it to the <laughs> Yeah, so we haven't been posting in real time, and there's many, many reasons. But the main reason is because a lot of you guys have been wanting the videos like, at, like a couple days after we post the real time uh, story, and it's just not realistic. Realistic. But that's the word. It's not just that. By the way, it is that time right now where I film my TikToks in the house. So I have basically found. <laughs> And a time in the morning and at night where there's sun rays of light that come in. And that's when I film my little like aesthetic TikToks. And I'm missing it today. So no TikTok for today. Call me Jake because it's our golden hour. Oh, it is our go- what? Because the, go- the song golden hour is uh, sung by the guy named Jake. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> that was good. That huh? was a good one. If Thank I would have known what you meant, but I didn't. <laughs> so it wasn't good. Hey, but speaking about you. good, look at my fit today. So I was like in the shower and I was very unmotivated. I was like, bro, why do I, I'm about to film a podcast downstairs. If this wasn't my podcast, how would I dress? And I was like, all right, if I'm hopping on a guest podcast, I got to dress nice. So you look really good. When I, I saw you walk down, I was like, aww. I have my fresh cologne on and I have some slacks with like a nice button up. All black and today. Birkin socks, no socks. I never want to hear this man talk shit again. If you watch the Jadley video where we're prepping for France, he was like, I'm not getting Birkin socks, specifically not without socks. And look at him. It's like the man that says he's never going to shop at Zara. And then eventually, have you seen that trend? Yeah, I've seen where that it's trend. It's like my boyfriend. It's like with, a girlfriend effect or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's so real. Look at you. Look at how good you look. You look so civilized. I love it. But with no pedicure is wild, brother. The dogs are. The dogs are very bad. He did not just say with no pedicure. The, the girlfriend effect. Oh my gosh, the girlfriend effect is real. I can't <laughs> believe this. This no, is I've, actually crazy. I've always known my toes are like a little more crusty than I've yours. I've always really wanted you to get pedicures with me. And you're always like, you're, you're a very good sport when it comes to manicures and pedicures. But not as much as you've been lately. And last time, I when we were going to go to France, I was like, hey, babe, we should go get a pedicure. And you weren't too much in favor of it. But I'm so glad you liked it. At the end of the day, it's hygiene. And I think when it comes to my own hygiene, it's very important because one of my insecurities is my feet stinking. Because it happens a lot. I sweat yeah. a lot for my feet. And I like... That's not what it is. I already told you what it is. She swears I, I don't put uh, socks in my shoes when I no, wear I put my so shoes Jake on. No, so Jake will... Yeah, so that's what it is. He like... Oh, my headset fell off. He will not wear socks with his shoes. And then he'll like have dirty feet, put his feet in. And then he'll like step on the back of the, f- I'm sorry, what happened? Was I screaming on your I ear? put it loud and no, you're good. Oh, he'll like step on the back of his shoe and do all that. And your feet, when they're stinky like that, and you keep putting them in, they get really bad. Also, whenever Jake is out of socks, he'll reuse old socks. And that creates a stench in your shoe. Yeah, that's the common, common denominator yes, when it comes to my feet it's, stinking. It's not your sweat. It's not that. It's just that you reuse things and then it creates a stench. And then to be able to get that smell out, you have to put them in the washer and then put them out in the sun. That's the only way. <laughs> One of my most embarrassing stories was when we visited uh, Blanca and Jonathan oh. for the first time. And we were watching, like, a scary movie at night. We were all chill, uh, chilling because we had, like, the airport. It was, like, a travel day. You know how those go. And it's time to settle down. We're watching a scary movie. <laughs> and <laughs> I told this story, I think, once before. It ha- like, two things happened that were critical. <laughs> the first thing is a little weird. All right, so the first thing, I'm laying next to the dog, the big dog, Ozo. And I'm just petting him. And he's on his belly. And I feel like something. If you know <laughs> if you know what I'm feeling, you know what I'm talking about, bro. And I was like, ain't no way I just felt this. And he was just letting me. I looked at him, and he was like, like smiling is uh that's the most he's ever smiled in his life but i had to take off my shoes it was like night we're gonna go to sleep and go to our, our own rooms and i took off my shoes and dude the moment i took off my shoes it reeked i don't know if they knew but me and nat were like oh, no freaking way what's that smell maybe they didn't clean good dude you didn't even think that the funny part is that you didn't think it was you no i didn't know it was me because right before that nat right before that 
Like I, I took them off and I immediately the smell went to my nose and immediately I went to the restroom and I, I tur- dude, you know when you don't want to touch anyone's house at all? It's like your first time going there. I turned on the bathtub. I started washing my feet. <laughs> and then I opened a drawer and bro, I guess Jonathan has the same problem as me because there's like a foot powder and I was spraying that foot powder on my feet. And man, dude, like Most nothing would work. Do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but nothing would work because it was like the stench stained in my skin. And it, it worked like a lot, but it was mainly the socks and the shoes. So. But you don't learn a lesson. That's the problem, though, because this has happened for about <laughs> three pairs of shoes after that. Actually, your latest pair of Air Forces, you have to throw them out. Where did you leave them? You left them in a trip. What trip was it? You didn't bring them back. Know. It's because this, this whole this past 2024, I've had three pairs of Air Forces. Okay, well, the latest ones before the current Air Forces, I think it was the Christmas Air Forces. Remember the Christmas Air Forces? <laughs> I remember okay, the Christmas Okay, where everybody gassed you because of those. Those Air Forces, you left them on some sort of trip. Oh, was it Disney trip? Somebody left the, you left the shoes in some trip because we couldn't bring them back because of how smelly they were. I was like, Jake, you're throwing them away. Like, it was one it. trip, dude. Yeah, you're they fired. were beat. Yeah, they were really bad. That's like one of my bad habits that I have, like my my reusing my socks because i don't want to wash socks or anything it's just being lazy dude and it, it <laughs> bites me in the ass in the most random that's places equivalent to not changing your underwear nah because not changing your underwear like everyone else can smell it to where as you put your shoes on like you're not gonna smell until the end of the day and at the end of the day i'm a shower what did he but say? i i changed i haven't i haven't reused my socks in like four days so <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I reused oh, no, them in babe. our on our like third day of europe Oh, I know. And then whenever you don't reuse them, it's because you steal mine. Anyway, that's a whole other thing. I think it's like a universal experience of men um, using their girlfriend's socks because your girlfriend always has like a, a matching pair and like they're always nice and organized. It's just a very convenient thing. And you do. always pack extra socks. I pack like three socks. I'm like, All right, I'm gonna wash yeah. my socks and stuff. Yeah. But, but and the, sho- the socks that she gets are comfortable. She gets like the extra triple layer cotton socks. I'm like, damn, I, I, get, know, the, I get the TNA Aritzia ones. And I just get so the ones expensive. from Ross. Yeah, but see, having a good pair of socks is everything because my socks last me years versus stupid ass little $5 socks. Dude, they'll have holes. Yeah, I know. Yours bro. have holes all the time. Don't blame the freaking. The, nah, that's not from that. That's from these freaking you know, animals on the bottom. You know, these animals don't go through my thick socks. That's how good quality they are. I'm not the free promo. Anyway, <laughs> so we don't post in real time anymore. Going back onto the topic because we completely just flew by it. We don't post in real time anymore because we've had a lot of negative instances posting in real time. That's one. That's like a really big issue. But also, just because if we post in real time, our videos take around like a week and a half to edit usually on the quicker side that's on the quicker side yeah i think the fastest i can get a video out is within five days right and that's like the editors grinding day and night like really really hard work so much work is put into every single vlog you guys like we put so much purpose into every single video because we don't want to just put something out there that's just kind of like eh and specifically we put a lot a lot a lot of work into the travel videos those are really really tough we're talking hours and hours of content like my i don't think i've told this before but my bbl video was about 18 hours of raw footage if you know anything about video editing that is hard okay that is a lot imagine eight you have to watch 18 hours of footage and you have to trim it and you have to go back it, it's a lot of work right so our travel videos are always ranging from like six to like 12 hours of raw footage. It's crazy. It's so much, yeah, our right? our editors do put in so much work. They put in so much work. So they take, it takes a lot of time. All those little graphics you guys see, those are all handmade, right? Our editors have to go in, draw it, right? Think of the idea for every single graphic. Think of the idea, the color palette, and then they have to animate it, which is a whole other thing. And it's not just editing the video. Like our videos have a specific kind of cut for the audio so that it doesn't sound too harsh and, you know, color grading. And there's so much that goes into it because there's so much intention to putting out a really good video with a really good storyline. And again, some are a little tougher than others. Like the travel videos require so much more extra stuff that your day-to-day video doesn't. But even your day-to-day video, it, it won't be done, you know, anytime sooner than five days. It just takes a really long time. So with that being said, if we start posting in real time and let's say, for example, we post that we left on a trip on Monday and we don't get back till Tuesday. OK, that video does not start being edited till like that Tuesday. Right. So from there, you have to count a week and a half. So that's already like two weeks for you guys to wait for a video. And it's just too long. And, and it and usually when it. we are traveling, like 
uploading footage is a problem too because we don't have the best Wi-Fi too. Whereas here at home, we have the, like really good Wi-Fi. Everything could go up in like 20 minutes. Actually, on our Europe trip, the one we just went to, good Wi-Fi. Surprisingly, the hotel had really nice Wi-Fi. Yeah. All the clips were going up really simple, like within 20, 30 minutes too. Yeah, it's funny because so I divided our Europe trip into two videos. So the first video is basically the travel and then plus the first two days. And the second one is the, the remainder of the trip. And in that video, the first clips went up literally on day three. We sent those clips to our editor and then she's been grinding. That video is actually going to be sent to me tonight. So I'm excited. I'm so excited. Yeah, me too. So it's already done. And that one goes up. So that way for you guys, it's like we just posted that we were in Europe and you're getting a vlog already, which is awesome. But it's not like we're posting like two weeks later. We're, we're actually posting maybe like four days after the four actual event after, yeah. just to give it like a little bit of a like a like a little bit of a wait time. You guys get to wait. It's not like we post the picture and then the next day the vlog is out. But not everything. So like there's certain things that we post that are real time. So it's really hard for you guys to understand like what is and what isn't. That way it doesn't like ruin it for you. Um, some things that we post are real time some places some places not so we just try to mix it up for you guys that way you don't have to wait that long for videos like you normally would have to specifically it's really funny when people will see us in public and they'll be like what the heck like weren't you here <laughs> for example when we came back from tennessee right we didn't post that we were back here till about like a week after we actually arrived here and so we were getting recognized kind of just like everywhere. And they're like, I thought you guys were in Tennessee. Like, why are you here? And we're like, oh, yeah, we got here a few days ago. Yeah. Yeah. So when we first went to Tennessee, we went to a big mall and there was a worker inside of the boot barn. But we were just posting that we were in Utah still. So the girl in Tennessee was so confused. She was like, wait, how did you guys get here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's so cool. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, all right. So I want to talk about something funny, but embarrassing that had happened to us while we were in Europe. Are you talking about the elevator situation? I am talking about the elevator I'm situation. So, no. yes, let's talk about it. So, wait, hold on. Before we say that, <laughs> before we say this elevator situation, this was like the last days of Europe. Like, it was like two days before we left, mm -hmm. which we're going to give you guys so many Europe stories right now. But this is, I guess, we're starting off with the damn bang. So, so, me and Nat, we're, I don't know where we are, probably coming back from a coffee shop because we do like, we wake up early, go to a coffee shop, come back to the hotel, get dressed again. We did like right so many outfit brunch. changes. Okay, yeah, right it was right after brunch. brunch. We didn't, we're going to come back to do an outfit change, but we had to use the restroom. So, we're walking back home, I mean, walking back to our hotel, and we both had to use the restroom, and our hotel room only has one bathroom. So, we're like, all right, I'm going to use it first. No, I'm going to use it first. No, and but then, you know those, like, when you have to use the bathroom, that you, you get have chills. chills. Those Bro, chills. Bro, that kind of poop. Like, it chills. chills. Your, your stomach is, like, gurgling, okay? We're in a completely different country with completely different water, with completely different food and ingredients. Our bodies are not used to this. So now imagine that, okay? You just ate food that you're not used to eating, and we have to walk back, Okay. Oh, man, I'm so, getting the chills thinking about it. So, yeah, we go in the hotel. Open. I mean, we go to the hotel doors, open it up. Um, and to go to our room, we're on the fourth floor. So to go to the room, we have to go take the elevator. There's two elevator doors. And we're pushing them and pushing them. And we're fighting like, no, I'm going to go first because you used it for, like first last time. And both of the elevator doors, no, no, one elevator door opens, right? And she goes in and I'm like, oh, and then I hear the other elevator door open too. So I'm like, hold on, I'm going to go to the other one, race to the other one and uh, try to be here to my room. Which is so dumb because my <laughs> elevator opened first, right? So technically, since there's two different types of elevators and the first one opened first, when you hit that number, it's leaving versus the other one that people had to come out. But he <laughs> left to the other one. So I was like, this guy's toast. I'm totally going to beat him. Yeah, so she went first. She pushed to number four first. And then I go in secondly. But I probably pushed it a couple seconds after you. And I don't know. I get lost here because I go up to the room, the fourth floor, run into my room, and I'm like, oh, Nat's probably already beat me because I didn't see her come out of the elevator. So I open the door, and I go, and I'm I'm pretty, dude, I didn't tell you this, but, like, when I entered the room, I was like, damn, you got so lucky. Like, I thought you were already in there. And I walked to the bathroom, and no, no one's in there. Like, it's quiet. I'm like, hold up. She's probably mad that I went to the other elevator and didn't wait for her. So I go all, <laughs> I'm about to go all the way down. Without I, using the bathroom, okay? And mind you, this took, like, two or three minutes. And I go all the way back to the elevator door. Cause our room's far, dude. So it's a far, like 30 second walk. Yeah. I go, I check and I'm about to go down and I'm like, damn, I'm, I'm in a bad mood. I have to shit myself. Nat's in a bad mood. Cause she didn't let, uh, I didn't let her go first. And then when I push the elevator thing, I see her, uh, the other side open and it's Nat. And I'm like, no freaking no, way. The other family on this side was first. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, so when I, when I originally, when I went uh, to my first floor, I mean to the fourth floor, some guy went into the elevator. That's what happened. No, you're missing a critical part of the story. Okay, so wasn't there a family that went up? 
Like I, when you hit the when you hit the freaking thing, there was a family that was there in the elevator. Okay, basically, what happened on my end? Okay, <laughs> this is why I mean that Jake missed the critical part. There should have been a family that was up there on the fourth floor with him, and I know this because I sent them up there. Okay, so when I got into that elevator, okay, I hit four, and now I'm literally pooping myself, bro. Like I cannot, I can't. If there is ten more seconds, I'm toast. So I'm like just like crossing my pants like this in the freaking elevator. And I'm also kind of like laughing because this is a joke. Who's going to beat the other person, right? So as soon as like the elevator stops <laughs> and I'm just kind of laughing. I, I don't know. I thought it was a freaking joke. Because you gonna thought you were going to beat me. Yeah. The elevator opens and there's this like family right there waiting. And my brain didn't put two and two together, right? Now thinking about it, if there's somebody outside right there and the elevator took no time dumb ass bitch like you're in the wrong freaking floor i have but that I bad habit too like not looking at the floor number and going think. out early i really didn't think <laughs> so then as soon as it opens i was like go time baby so i passed this family and i'm like running you're running to the room i'm running <laughs> to the room bro and i'm like trying to um i'm checking my bag so i can get the card right and i'm like i'm like looking for the card and i opened the door i tried to open the door and i'm like jake open the door and i'm like Putting down the handle, <laughs> right? But I'm like, wait, did Jake take off the thing that says, like, to not clean our room? And then I'm like, shit, I don't have the card. <laughs> so I didn't bring the hotel card with me, so I wasn't going to be able to get in. But then that's when I'm like, why Why did he take that thing off? Like, we don't like when the people go and clean our room. So I'm like, why would he take it off? And then I look, and it says 220, and we're supposed to be in 420. And I'm like, <laughs> bro, I booked it to the elevator because I thought someone was going to come out of that room because I'm over here playing games talking about Jake open the door right and remember guys as soon as you walked out the room uh, I mean at the elevator the people that were in there or that walked into the elevator right after that have to go up to the fourth floor yes, that's not even their stop I had hit the fourth thing so they had to go up where <laughs> Jake is at okay so that's the family that went up when Jake was on that elevator oh yeah I do remember now so yeah when I went <laughs> when I ended up walking uh, out of my elevator, I seen one guy enter, like a big tall guy enter the elevator, and there was like two other people in there. I think it was the other family. Yeah, so those are the people that I sent up because they went into the <laughs> elevator and went up to the fourth floor. So I'm running back to the elevator, and I hit the freaking button, and the same <laughs> family... <laughs> the same family, bro. The doors open. It's the same people that they came in when I went out. <laughs> and I'm just like... Oh, <laughs> and I just walked away and I let the elevator go. <laughs> I was so embarrassed to go in and Why? hit number four, bro. Imagine. Would you imagine you walk back in and hit number four? <laughs> and we go back up, dude, they'd be pissed. No, no, it goes all the way down, but still. <laughs> so I was like, oh my gosh. I was so embarrassed because it was the same people and they were looking at me and I was like, so I just kind of walked away. I, I was just like, whatever. I, I walked to the side. I waited for the doors to close. <laughs> and I was like looking like this until like, the doors closed. And I ran and I hit the button. And another elevator comes. Bro. And keep in mind, we should have both took a shit by this time already. Okay. And we still haven't even got to the room. And I hear my phone buzzing and it's Jake. And I'm so embarrassed. So I'm texting that. I'm like, uh, where are you? Where are you at? And then I text her. Are you actually mad? Question mark. So that's when I'm walking back to the elevator to go down and see her. <laughs> and I was so embarrassed. Cause I was like, I see Jake's calling me and I'm like laughing, looking at my phone because I'm embarrassed. And I don't know what, like I could cry, but I rather laugh. So I'm just kind of like laughing. And I'm like, how am I going to tell Jake? And I was thinking about lying to him, telling him that it just sent me like all the way up or something. I was going to make a complete lie. Cause I was so embarrassed. Someone actually happened. So the elevator gets there. I get inside and then I hit four bro. And I'm just waiting. And then I'm about to shit myself. And then, the door opens and then jake's just like <laughs> on the fourth floor like where the elevators are because he's about to go down to find me because i'm not answering the phone and i just look at him and i'm like then she starts dying <laughs> and then she told me this whole story and i wouldn't like we couldn't stop laughing yeah, that, we that, was, couldn't. that was the funniest thing on the trip like i think we we're both in bad mood because we had to use the restroom so bad but mm -hmm. that just brightened us up so much yeah that truly made our day that thing was so funny and then we went in and jake actually in fact did use the I, bathroom i first. went first because she didn't have to use it anymore after being so embarrassed dude it was the most <laughs> embarrassing thing of my life it was so bad <laughs> you sent them up and then you end up going at the same time i after stopped them back. again dude can you imagine <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, my gosh. That was so embarrassing. I was really, like, debating going up the stairs. But these stairs in this place were just, like, the craziest circle. And we were all the way to the fourth floor. Yeah, it was 
was this whole mess? But we have so many stories. I feel like every time we travel, something like this happens to us. Just the most embarrassing stuff. You want to talk about like how rude French people are? Oh my not, I'm, I'm talking like not the whole people, like not every single French person, but like this is the most. You want to talk about Dior Cafe? The most severe cases. Oh my, the Dior Cafe was something life changing. Like yeah. when I become that level, I am not going to be like that. Like, like I'm not gonna have any characteristics of those people that treated us the way they did. So yeah, we ended up going to um, a place called Saint Tropez. I don't know what it's. I think that's what it's called, Saint Tropez. <clears throat> it's in the it's in uh, the French Riviera. It's a like little island, I think. And they have a famous uh, brunch spot it's called the the Dior Cafe. It's, it's also a hotel. Literally from Dior. Yeah, it's literally from Dior. And then we ended up waiting in that line for like 45 minutes. You could tell the story better than me. No, you're okay. You Are you sure? Talk. Okay, okay. Yeah, we ended up waiting in this line for 45 minutes. Sun's blazing on us. There's a res- reservation line on the right of us, and uh, the line that you don't have a reservation in. And we're waiting here for a while. And, like, bro, like, the reservation, you have to book it two weeks in advance. So, like, these people already know what their plans are yeah. for the day. And they're just bougie people, rich people, like, just going to have brunch with the girls type stuff. Tell me why we're asking questions or she's like checking us in. The waiter's checking us Hold in. Hold on. You're missing the point where they were running over our ankles and shit. Okay. Oh my. So for some reason. Okay. I have always heard the stereotypes that like French people are really mean. But you know, you don't always want to run with stereotypes. But I will say the stereotype that Australian people are super nice. They are super, super nice. Not all of them. We met maybe like five rude people in Australia. But for the most part, everyone just wants to have a conversation with you. And they're super, super sweet. You know what I mean? It's like so, Dutch bro workers. All the Dutch bro workers are in Australia. Yes. Yes. That's how it is. Right. So it's really hard to not believe the negative. You know, is it stereotypes? Is that what it is? Yeah. When, you know, over here in Australia, it was totally true. So, you know, you want to kind of take it with a grain of salt. But at the same time, I just didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. The biggest key to knowing the vibe in France was the people and the way that they walk okay that is a huge thing where i'm from okay which is little fucking middle nowhere okay i feel like you don't walk in front of people you don't run over people's toes with your shopping cart like you don't do these things i feel like they're really really rude okay out there doesn't really matter like people even when you're driving there is no such thing as like right of way when you're driving doesn't matter who it is you could be walking it, it, like people don't care okay so when we were waiting in line i kid you fucking not we're in line for this freaking dior cafe <laughs> and there is a gap smaller than me and me and jake right here okay in between the person in front of us and the person in front of them it's a super small gap. Literally smaller than where me and Jake are right now, right? This girl with the fucking stroller. With the stroller, okay? With the child in the damn stroller. And she had like bags hanging off of the side of the stroller. So it makes it even wider. <laughs> she just not even, excuse me, not going right by ya. N- nothing. Just rams through and runs over the guy's ankles in front of her. <laughs> like just... <laughs> No, they didn't even give a shit. And the guy, did you see the guy's ankles? I didn't know. They I didn't see cut. this at all. It was you. They were all cut up. Remember I told you? You no, didn't see his ankles? No. I think he was wearing like the little loafers and his ankles were like all cut up. And his <laughs> lady just went right over. And the girl in front of us, so it was be- it was in between the girl in front of us and the girl and the people in front of them, right? The girl <laughs> in front was just like on her phone. Like so like just another day. Like, that's normal for her? That's so normal. She was on her phone, right? This girl rams in front of the guy's fucking ankles <laughs> and right in front of her, and she's just on her phone. I heard it, but I didn't see it, and I, I she didn't even say, like, sorry or anything. No, no, she, she just kept going, and she was one of the many offenders who did that, right? But hers was the worst because she had a big-ass stroller, right? And it was just so rude to not even, you know, hey, can I get by? I don't know. I just think it's common courtesy. Like whenever I'm walking on somebody's side or like if I'm just walking, right, and there's somebody with, I don't know, somebody's coming my way, I'll scoot a little bit over, you know, so you can have your room. It's just the nice thing to do. Anyway, that was one of like the many things, but that wasn't something that happened here in this place that we were at. It was everywhere, babe. Remember when we would walk? everywhere in nice people were just kind of like pushing you out of the way and i feel like that's why it's easy for people to pickpocket you over there and it's more common because oh. everyone's like like really close to each other and you're always having contacts like like little contacts like this with mm-hmm. strangers yeah it was really really bad 
It was super, super bad. Like, people but, were just always doing that. But we got, like, stood up by a super, super rich girl. Like, you can tell, bruh. Oh, the girl that was being mean? Okay, so when that happened, many, many, it happened many times after that, by the way. That wasn't, like, the only time. But when we got closer up, we got super lucky. We were the last people to get seated at the Dior Cafe, like, actually. And there was people behind us, like, still waiting for the, for the, to get seated. Yeah, we were the first people, the last people to get seated, and then everybody else had to wait, like, hours. It was complete luck. Like, the guy that got his ankles rammed, they got out of line. Like, yeah, they're, they were, they're like, they were waiting too long. Uh, they're, they're probably impatient and stuff, but... Yeah. If they didn't leave, we wouldn't have been we able to eat. We wouldn't have been able to eat. Yeah, no, but they left and we were able to get a table at the famous Dior Cafe. But yeah, like 30 minutes passed by after that little uh, stroller incident. And we're we're next in line. She's checking us in. She's like asking what we want from the menu. Like, are we going to want full breakfast menu or just to drink uh, at the bar? And we're talking to her, telling her like what's when's the kitchen closing and stuff like that. And in the reservation line, some a couple of girls uh Pull up, and there's only one server like that's attending both lines, right? She's not right? a server. She's a, what is it called? A waitress? A wait, no. Hostess? Hostess, And there's only yeah. one hostess attending both lines, checking uh, checking everybody in. And this girl in the reservation line pulls up, like walks in her line, and there's no one there, obviously, because she's with us. But we're right next to each other, Literally guys. right next to each other. And she's like, uh, bonjour, bonjour, excusez-moi, and like tapping her while she's having, while the hostess is having an active conversation with uh, Nat and I, and like... The girl, the hostess looks at her like. Nah, but it was way worse than Jake's making it sound, bro. Like, I was literally telling Jake this the other day. I was like, I am so glad that you're here with me right now. Because if I were to tell this story, I feel like I just sound like I'm complaining. And it just sounds like I'm full of shit. So I'm so glad that I have a witness. Because there is no words that can explain this. If I heard somebody else talking about this story on the internet, I would be like. Bro, like, you sound so like a complainer, right? But it was real. It was the worst thing that I have ever seen. It, like. There's nothing that I can say that will paint the picture for you guys. And nothing. The, and as soon as, like, as soon as the hostess turns around, we all look at her. We're, we all have, all three of us have the same face, like, like, the stank face, like, what does she want? And, yeah. and then as soon as she seen that, she's like, oh, 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 and then she was like doing this, like, go on, like. The go on movement. After she already like, no, but it was really rude because there was nobody in the appointments line, right? The appointments line is right next to our line. They're right next to each other. They're, you know, we're just lined up two different ways. There's a sign that says appointment that way, not appointment this way. That's all it is. And she's having an active conversation with us talking about like, are you guys going to want a table or are you just going to want to go get a drink? Right. It's we're right here. There's nobody on the appointment line. She pulls up and just whatever she was saying. Was she saying major? Or major? She was being rude in French. It, I yeah, saw she I was. Know. Yeah, and she was. But she pulled up with her little gang of girls. She had like a real nice Dior bag. And she, you, you know, she looked like she had big bucks. By the way, the people there, they're not just rich. They're like. They're, they're going to filthy. McDonald's, bro. That's a McDonald's spot for them. Let alone a yeah. coffee is 50 euros. No, no, they're like filthy rich. And so for her to just like go, and she was kind of just like poking at the waitress and shit. Dude, I couldn't <laughs> believe it. It was like out of a movie. It was like out of, you know, like Beverly Hills Chihuahua. Like that's it, the vibes. Yeah, it was out of a movie. And I was so shocked. Like how, how, what amount of money makes you entitled to be that way? The amount of money they have. And yeah. It's crazy because they're young. They were young. She was, yeah, she was like in her 30s. No, bullshit. She was like 25. Nah. Y- younger than 25. She nah. was the kid of somebody for sure. There's no way. And she was with the other two little kids. They're not. The other ones were way younger than her. Yeah, but it was so crazy. It was something out of a movie. And it's actually, it's pretty cool to experience because I've never actually seen something like that. You know when you always see on TikTok like, oh, like the rich spoiled people in Beverly Hills? You, I've never seen anything like that in person. Other than that one girl who tried to scout me at fucking um, that outlet <laughs> at Crate and Barrel. She was the craziest lady I've ever met in my life. But my, other than her. My son has the, like a bit, what did he say? What did, what did her son have? Oh, please. I don't want to re- restart this conversation, but she was, so, and she was dripped out in that one brand. D- in what? Be- I don't even know. I don't fucking know the brand, but it's like a, I guess a famous brand. I think that brand is so ugly, by the way, but it's like a. What brand, brand is it? Let's call them out right now. Bottega. Oh, Bottega. I don't even know how that, that brand, brand. Looks. She was drip, bro. I'm talking King, like her little old lady suit was that. Her hat was that. Her bag was that. Her shoes were that. Like everything dripped out. Anyway, yeah, that was the vibe. That was the vibe for sure. And I was like, oh, no way this just happened to us right now. That was the most insane thing ever. And it's crazy because I'm sure those waitresses or those hostess, they see that shit every day. So it's just like another day in paradise. But yeah, so we ended up staying at the, the it's called the Bosco Hotel. Would I think it's famous for like having Wait, the- Wait, you didn't finish the Dior Cafe experience. Well, 
we want me to keep going because that wasn't it, y'all. That was not. That's like the maybe the cherry on top, but it still went up. Uh, uphill. No, talk about the the people who were next, next to, to us. us, Jake. That was so. So mean. that was now was vlogging and everything, and uh, we were trying like the foods and stuff. Not even now on I was my camera. The, it was on my phone. Now I was talking to the to her phone and stuff, vlogging. But the people next to us were talking in, I think French. I, I don't know what language it was, but it might have been French or Italian. It was. Something foreign, but they were talking and they would all look at her. Like they would turn their backs and like one would look at it, one would look at her, another one look at her, and they would all like laughing, like oh look, look, and that's not the like that's not the worst part. The worst part is when like a couple minutes later we found out they spoke English, yeah. so they knew what you were saying. They weren't yeah. like crazy or nothing. Like oh look at this, she wants to be famous or something like that. Yeah. They knew what you were doing, and yeah. then they still made fun of you. And I was Dude. like. Oh. But no, guys, I can't explain it. There's no words that can explain it because it does sound like I'm just yapping. I promise you, you just had to be there. And I'm so glad Jake was there because I would feel like I was being gaslighted the entire time if he wasn't there to back me up on this experience. It is literally, can you imagine like a group of people sitting down, right? Being like, and then, yeah, right? Tapping, tapping each other and dude, looking at us. Dude, it was the craziest thing I've ever ever experienced my entire life just like laughing at us like it was so weird it was the worst thing ever and our waitress um she was also kind of like not the best person ever too I, i'm sure she was just kind of like these little ass kids mm -hmm. but it was and she, but she was young too yeah she should have like understood like we're, we're vlogging or something i don't know yeah and another thing is for sure the language barrier because i can't understand half of the things that they were saying. So I would just say yes to everything because I didn't want to. <laughs> my biggest thing is like, I don't want to ask you to repeat yourself. Cause I feel like that's also kind of rude because if you're trying your hardest and I'm like, what did you say? Yeah. What did you say? Cause some of them were actually trying hard yes. to speak English and we just couldn't understand them. And we would just be like, okay, yeah. Okay. I and would just be like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really, really hard. But with her, it was like, she was like, okay, so what do you get? She sat us down. She's like, what are you guys going to want? But we hadn't even been able to look at the menu. We're like, can we have a few minutes? She's like, the kitchen's closing. The, the, yeah, the kitchen's going to close in a couple of minutes. I'm but like, it was 1030 and they opened at 10, bro. So we're like, what do you mean? So we're just like, Jake ordered and I said, whatever he got, give me the same. I was like, oh, I think it was the orange juice. I don't know what she said. And I was like, and then Jake, <laughs> you saved me with that one. What did you say? You ended up figuring it out. I don't know. Because she, she was saying orange juice, but you just didn't understand her. And I was like, yes, orange juice. Because you get to pick your cold drink, pick a hot drink. And then I was like, get orange juice for the cold drink. And then she's like, what kind of coffee do you want? No, that's what it was. It was the coffee. It's because I had ordered an orange juice on the side, remember? And then I was like, can we just do the orange juice as part of the bundle? Because we had ordered it as like a single. But she wasn't understanding that. So I was just like. <laughs> I kid you not at least 10 seconds of just yeah on the menu we, what we <laughs> ordered on the menu was like a bundle so it had like the the fruit it had a uh, real food and then it had like a hot drink and a cold drink but we didn't know that because yeah. it's all in French and then she's like do you want to order I found it out because I turned the, the English side on but the English side on bro half the menus don't have any English so you just have to like read and guess mm -hmm. take a wild guess and then <laughs> sometimes it works some of the words are similar to English so that's what helped us out a little bit but yep. this is our first time traveling to a country where like, they don't really speak English. Because in Aruba, I think a lot of the people were yeah. speaking English. And it was really, really well. But in France, man, it's really hard to come by someone that speaks it well enough for us to understand. And by the, you know, for just for the record, it wasn't everyone that was rude. Again, there is, the only thing about France was it was that there was more rude people than nice people. Versus, like, Australia it was more nice people than rude people. But the people that we found to be really, really nice, I feel like were like the super humble people like the guy at the coffee shop oh my gosh yeah, yeah he, he was, was so cool. cool yeah that's what i'm saying only we only had bad experiences with people that a were like had a lot of money which was like mainly in monaco and Saint Saint Tropez. Tropez. yeah and those two places were like probably the rudest that we had interactions and it was just because they're really wealthy places mm -hmm. but where we found really really good people was like I think in Nice where we were meeting with like a lot of really like nice people who didn't have a lot of money, I feel. Because that guy, he was so nice. Not just him though. Remember the guy that we met at the beach that we started playing with his dog? Oh yeah, He was dude. so sweet. Mm -hmm. He was so sweet. He was just walking his dog. We started a conversation with him and just like, he knew English pretty well. And if not, he would just like hand signal. It, it just worked. It was They were really cool. Our tour guides were really cool. But the very first day when we arrived, that's what like shook us the most because we... 
we had to wait for the check-in, and she said while we wait for the check-in, we can go up to the pool. We talked about that last one, where she told us that if we even belonged there. Oh, are you talking about the girl that was rude, that told you to move from the picture? Damn, my bad. I forgot. But yeah, there was a girl that was rude that was staring at Nat and they were talking shit. And then they made her move for a picture. Yeah, just so many. Th- <laughs> it was mainly the vlogging that got people really like upset for some reason. But other than that, like other than the rude people, we found some really, really cool, nice people there. And honestly, like I'm really going to miss those people. They were really sweet. Isn't it crazy how we met a guy in France? Who had an uncle who lived in Bakersfield. Oh my gosh, yeah, that was the cafe guy. And I didn't even mention where I'm from. He's like, oh yeah, I have a, I have an uncle that I've never met, but he lives in uh, California. Uh, and then he's like, in Bakersfield, farmer town. And, and I was like, <laughs> damn, they think Bakersfield is a farmer town, which it kind of it is. It is, yeah. But I was like, that's crazy. It's already known all the way out in France. It That was really crazy. You know what? I find that we meet a lot of people that have some sort of connection to Bakersfield. Who was the other person? Babe, who was the other person from uh, Bakersfield? I don't know. There was a couple of them. I feel like everywhere we go, we meet someone from Bakersfield. It's really crazy, you guys. Like, actually, I think we were in Tennessee, and one of those guys was, like, from Bakersfield or transported to Bakersfield. Remember? Or Utah, somewhere. Oh, my gosh. We were in Utah, and that horse came from Bakersfield. The, okay, yeah, that's what it was. So many uh-huh. things. I feel like it's really, really weird. I just attract that stuff, man. I think so, too. I think it's your aura. <laughs> Shut up. Don't it. ever <laughs> say that again, bro. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it was really, really cool. We went to Monaco, which was a really awesome experience. We literally got in a helicopter, and we went from Nice to Monaco, and that was awesome. I think I felt like the most rich person ever, even though it was like a helicopter, like with that experience. It was yeah. so it was so luxurious. That's what it was, because you go in the airport, you pass all through, like, the, not, not even security, but you, you pass through the private parts of that yeah. airport, get checked in, like, in a minute, go in a nice lounge with bo- uh, bougie box water, and then they just walk you to the strip, drive you to the private section of the airport man yeah and then you land in monaco which is really cool seven minute flight we did pick like a, the worst day to go because it was super cloudy and rainy and we weren't able to get like the pictures and stuff yeah the nice views but it was such a fun time it was so awesome you guys like it was really really cool we landed in monaco and monaco was like well the second smallest country in the world let's put that out there first i wonder what the first one is but it's really really small and all it is is just money Okay, money. Like, if you want to go see money, you go to Monaco. They have freaking super yachts. Like, to start off, there's no pharmacies in Monaco. Like, what? No, they don't have any drug stores. Oh, drug stores. Convenience stores. Convenience sorry. stores. Convenience stores. They have pharmacies. Um, because Jake asked for a convenience store. Like, uh, we I, don't have that here. I needed deodorant, bad dude. <laughs> and they didn't. <laughs> I asked the worker, and like, we don't have those here. I'm like, damn. Yeah. No, it was crazy, you guys. Like, when I tell you there is wealth, there there is. So there's like the casino, right? The Monte Carlo Casino, and they have like, dude, the cars there, bro. Like, just your average car, like Lambos, Porsche. Like, that's all there is, and they get to park like in the front, and you get to take pictures of the cars. It is the biggest sign of wealth ever but it's because so we found out that they have really good tax tax benefits benefits. yeah really good tax benefits so a lot of rich people will go and like purchase there but it's really really awesome to see like how much money there is in a certain place in the world it's and cool yeah we saw like some super yachts and i like jeff bezos has like a yacht there somewhere i swear yeah i've never seen boats that big and how how do you need a boat that big bruh i'm I'm gonna have we're gonna have one one day yeah why not just have it just and never use it. have it, it just quarter of the size. <laughs> yeah, those are insane, actually. Mm-hmm. Those were really, really cool. But there's just so much wealth out there. I can't believe we got to see Monaco. That was awesome. It was a dream to visit Europe. I think it literally looks like the Universal Studios, <clears throat> how they like have the little cities and stuff in the, at, like, what is it called? The studio at the studios. What was the one we, we uh, went by in Universal? There was like a Spanish <gasps> town or something. Okay, so we went to this like homemade Venice town. Um, basically somebody created like an artificial little town that looks exactly what's supposed to look like what Venice looks like. We've never been, but that, well, that's what I would imagine. Right. With the little like canoes in the middle and stuff. It was really cool. It's like a, somebody made it, but it was awesome because it was like pink and cream colors and just like the little town homes. It was so beautiful. You guys, it was awesome. We got to canoe through the entire little town. No, not canoe. We got to drive the boat. Oh, yeah. It. Yeah. We got to drive a boat. That's what we got. To do. <laughs> yeah. We we're driving the boat and then we we're going under the little arcs or like the little bridges and it looked like Venice, like in Italy, how, yeah. you, how you see the videos on Instagram and stuff. It was so cool. It was so freaking awesome, you guys. And it literally looks like Universal Studios, like what they make as fake. And awesome. you could rent to live there. Like you couldn't, you could rent out the little townhouses that they have and live at that little fake yeah, city, fake Venice. Yeah, people live there. 
Yeah. It's really, really freaking cool, actually. And, like, not just that. In I feel like Universal Studios just gives you such a good idea. There is <laughs> all of, like, the little towns actually look like they're made out of a picture. It's so crazy. I never knew what the French style was. Like, you know when somebody says, like, a French style home? I had never, like, put two and two together, but after going to France and going to the backcountry, not the actual city of Nice, but the backcountry, all the houses are literally, like, it's like a, I don't know, it's so awesome. It's, it's so awesome. Yeah, it's so freaking cool. We loved it so much, and we're so excited to actually travel to a bunch of different other countries um, in Europe because I think we're going to really love it. Also, I think we made a really good decision in not going to Paris and going to Nice. Yeah, because, like, our tour guides were saying, because fr- I think they had a bias because they're from Nice, but they're saying, like, Paris isn't really all that. It's more polluted and stuff, where Nice is, like, really nice beaches, nice people, good food, and, like, just the best vibes. It was clean, it's, and it was a really clean city. No, yeah, I can imagine it being, like, you know when people want to come to California to go to L.A.? And just have utter disappointment. Uh I think that's the vibe. Because LA is the most famous place, but I'd pick OC in a heartbeat. Yeah. Any freaking day. And I I still like, we don't go to OC as much uh, anymore, but... Bro, if I if I can recommend any place in California, it'd probably be OC. OC, It would be between like OC and Bakersfield. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, I would. The beaches are nice there. OC is beautiful. And it's crazy because people, yeah, think of California as LA. Los Angeles. LA is just so bad. Oh, that's another thing. We felt so safe in Nice. And obviously, like, people from, because anyone who we met that came to California was like, yeah, I didn't really feel safe when we went. (laughs) (laughs) Like, yeah, coming from this place, like, you can't go to California or to New York and feel like you're safe. You just don't. They have cameras in every corner in, uh, in Nice that we were, the place we were in. Yeah, it's it's crazy, but honestly, we are going to explore a lot more of Europe. It's crazy because you guys have seen my character development on this podcast. That's why I love this podcast is because you get to see our character development, right? Like every episode we grow and we've had this podcast going to be two years already of us creating episodes on here and we have grown so much since the first episode that we created. Is it two years? It's only been, it's going to be one. No, babe, it's been two years. What? Because yeah. I had my boob job. Yeah, yeah, two years. Wow, almost. Yeah, almost two years. Who would have thought? It actually, like, who would have thought? I think we created this podcast just, like, as a yapping session, which it still really is that. But it's crazy how much we were able to document kind of our growth. Like, I remember, I feel like a few, maybe a, episodes back, I talked about how, like, I didn't want to travel to, um, was it? It wasn't Europe. It was Greece. You had said Greece. And I was like, no, that scares me because of the language barrier, blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't really want to go there. And you were like, yeah, I really want to go there. I was like, eh. And it's crazy because now I'm at a point where I'm like, yeah, I would love to travel like every single part of the world. I, and I think when you travel like places that don't speak your language, just, like after a little bit of time, I mean, a couple of times you've gone to places like that, it, it gets easier because after like the third day of us being in France, when we're going into restaurants, all we would have to do is just put like our two fingers up and they'll, whatever they'll say. And then we'll be like, we, oui. <laughs> and they like escort us to the table. So it's just like, there's a little like life hacks and stuff to that. It's just uncomfortable. It's for sure uncomfortable, but you get to really experience a lot. And it's really nice to, I feel like we get to see our character de- development, but so do they. And it's really awesome. It's, and it's crazy that we're, we're being, yeah, like you said, we're uncomfortable in like the other places, but it makes us even more comfortable when we come back because like people staring at us in California vlogging is nothing compared nothing. to where we are in Europe vlogging like that. Dude, it w- this is nothing. I feel like people out here think it's cool. And I think they're more accustomed to it. Yeah, because everybody vlogs mm-hmm. nowadays. Yeah, yeah that true. is that is insane. Yeah, it was really crazy. But we actually have, um, I posted a TikTok about it. Guys, if you do not follow my TikTok, um, you really should because I really want to start posting a lot more on there. I really want to make... I think I talked about this before, but I really want to make a difference and post a lot more like wholesome content on TikTok. We so filmed been- so many TikToks there. We filmed at least like nine, which four of them probably got scrapped because Nat's very picky. Uh, yeah, it's because I want to make my TikTok so aesthetic now. Like, I feel like I really like my day in my life on TikTok. I want to make more little vlogs. Like, I really want to create a different I want to rebrand my TikTok to be more like um, aesthetic. You know, I want like, it to be more like, like baby, like your YouTube channel. Yeah, like, I want to create it, like, at a different way. Like, I I don't know. I just want to make it different. I want to make a difference on TikTok, too, you know? Mm-hmm. That'd be really cool. Anyway, I... You what? 
I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I was going somewhere with this. Where was I going? Oh, yes. So I posted a TikTok where I was like, we're going to go to four different countries. Um, what? Yeah, what like it's coming about? It's coming to like the end of the year, even though it's like the six month mark. But we still have lots of places that we're we going to. four still. countries to go to still. Four countries. Four countries. You know where they are, right? Yeah. Can I say one? No. Please? Just one? Yes. Okay, fine. You can say one country. Canada. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Canada. Let's Yay! go. <laughs> We're going to go to Canada. That's one of the countries. And um, we're going to be doing four. And I'm so excited. Shout out to all the Canadians. If your mom's, if you're making money and your mom's still living by herself. <laughs> no, you know what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> Bro, I think it was like a Toronto girl. <gasps> yes. The Toronto girl? Yeah, the yeah, Toronto yeah, yeah, girl. Yeah, I did see her. <laughs> we're going to be going to a really cool part in Canada that you guys aren't even going to freaking imagine. You're not even going to guess it. Um, you, you Just, just comment, comment what you think, though. I don't think they're going to guess where we're going in Canada. But it's really exciting. And we're going to do so many countries. <laughs> and there's going to be... Um, Two, there's going to be two winter trips for sure. One fall trip for sure. And then the last one I can't spoil, but it's going to be really, really fun. And I'm so excited. It's going to be awesome travel vlog. So even though we are moved back into our home, um, our travel has not stopped. We're still going to continue to travel. We're still going to continue to push out content for you guys of travel because I know a lot of you guys really do enjoy it. I enjoy it. I uh, love it. And it's so it. fun. We got to do yeah. all these things and then make money off of it. Memories off of it. And just. I don't know. We have we the best job live. in the world. Yeah, we do. We get to really live and I'm so excited about it. And that's why I feel like I always really tell myself like everything was meant to happen for a reason because we're going to drop a video within the next month um, of something that we went through where we lost a lot of money. And, and we talked about it a couple of weeks ago, actually, or a couple podcasts ago. And it's just, I think this is all part of God's plan and it's yeah. happening for a reason. We're going to teach you guys. You guys are going to learn with us. We're going to learn with you as well. But it's just... That's just something that's a bummer. It's a very, very bad situation. But can you imagine if that didn't happen, though, we wouldn't be where we are right now. And like, that's <clears> the <throat> thing that that wasn't meant to happen, because if that would have happened, we wouldn't have been able to travel the way we're traveling right now. Mm -hmm. So it, it just is the way it is. So everything happens but for a reason. One door closes for another to open. Yeah, another few to open, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to keep doing the travel videos for you guys and. I feel like you guys are going to really en enjoy those for the end of the year. Um, and if there's anywhere in particular you want us to go, please let us know. I really want to take my parents to Vermont this year. Hopefully we get it to happen. Dude, that would be so cool because I really want to go to the Golden Retriever Farm when the Golden Retrievers are there. Yeah, I, I really want to take my parents to Vermont. We just have to actually get them to do it because we told you guys this before, but like my parents both work. And so. it's super hard for them to like take a couple of days off, let alone a week. Yeah. yeah, my dad is just like he owns a business, so it's like he, he can't take that time off but maybe if we book it like super in advance it'll be a little bit easier for him but maybe not a full week maybe we'll might be able to do like five days if Nat and i have to put our hard hat on to help him get a couple of days off we are gonna do it i hope the good thing is that <laughs> if we it, do that if we do that he's gonna have more days to work <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> if we try to help him oh yeah we just slow that man down <laughs> no but the good thing is that in october sometimes it rains and when it rains my dad can't work so hopefully that'll help us out a little bit but that'd be really cool if we were able to take um my parents to vermont that'd be awesome we have to go when it's like a rain or a thunderstorm happening in california and then we just go to the other side of the country yeah life hack mm -hmm. we loved vermont <laughs> i think vermont was probably i don't know i say this about every city like i mean every state it was my favorite state that we've been to but that nah. place is just off out of the movies that's like i think i still i think for me it's still colorado i don't know why you like colorado so much i love colorado i like i liked utah because of summer vibes but for winter vibes fall vibes vermont for sure yeah, Vermont is a nice place for, like, an escape to, like, the mountains just because it's not very populated. But I think if I had to pick between... Okay, if you had to pick between Wyoming and Vermont, which one would you pick? Dang. Wyoming Bay. That's a no-brainer. I would pick Wyoming. Yeah. But the fall foliage in Vermont was something else. But we haven't seen it in Wyoming. Mm. But Vermont foliage, I don't think was it Vermont anything. or was it Massachusetts? No, it was Vermont. Oh, yeah. I don't think there's anything like. And we went that. towards the end of the foliage, Nat. Like nothing yeah. left, pretty much. Yeah, and it was still beautiful. Yeah, if you guys are planning a fall trip, really go to Vermont. It was an awesome. Maybe we can do a whole um, video on like your fall itinerary, and I could tell you guys all the good spots. But that place was really awesome. Let's Vermont's do that. Awesome. Let's do that. I think for the next podcast, when it's just you and I, we could do like a little fall itinerary podcast. Because 
that's super interesting to know and very good to know when you're traveling like that. Yeah, that like place imagine was awesome. couple dates. Like we could have all the cool spots like wherever we've gone to have uh to let them know. Like a guide? Do like a guide. We could be your tour guide. Matter of fact, if you want to pay us, if you want to pay us to travel with you, we'll definitely come along. Let us yeah. know. Yeah, that would be awesome. Imagine, babe, we rent out a freaking Sprinter van and we just take, like, my whole freaking family to Vermont. That'd be so fucking <laughs> we could, cool. We can get there in, like, two days, brother. Oh, fuck you. I was going to land in freaking Massachusetts and then drive to Vermont. Hell no, Jake. We're not doing that anymore. Unless we get a van. Dude, I'm so ready for van life again. Like, we actually, can, I'm borderline bored. We can, like, rotate the drivers. Come on. We got yeah, this. Yeah, you and my dad got it. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Fuck the rotating. Thank you. <laughs> I'm ready for van life again, Jake. I really want to rent out a van. This time we are definitely going to be taking our golden retrievers, though, because nah, oh, I can't yeah. I can't be Stop without them. Stop hitting the damn dog. She's going to jump up. She's Ooh! a clean girl. <laughs> she just shook her head and all the freaking babas came out. They just came back from training and I had to take, I had taken a, Thea a bath today and it was like the hardest thing ever in the world. Yeah, I came back and Thea was throwing a freaking fit. You guys, that's the only thing that sucks about traveling is that the girls don't get to come. But, but I think that that's why I want to do van life again, because I would like to put them in the van with us and like go on a whole little trip, which is something that we can do. But we just have four different, four different countries to go to within the next like four months. So I don't know if we have time to squeeze in a van trip, but maybe for spring. But no, because we already did a van life for spring. We have to do it for winter, fall or summer, but summer is deadly. So no, but don't think we're traveling anytime soon. We're home for a really good while right now. The next thing that we have coming up on our itinerary is Nat's birthday party. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be vlogged on Jadily. We're going to have a great, great night. I'm excited for that. You're going to be 21. Finally, dude. We've just been waiting for this day to happen. I know. Yeah. You know, we were literally talking about this, how we were like, we are like, we keep saying like, oh, I, we're waiting for me to be 21. Like da, 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 da. But whenever <laughs> we go anywhere where it's actually legal for me to go anywhere, we don't do it anyway. I think babe. because you want to be like 21 and do it all at like for your 21st. You know, like if you're, if you're 18 and you're, we're, you're 18 in Europe, which is like legal age to do whatever you want, pretty much. You can go casino, you can go drink and everything, but Jake ordered freaking wine on the plane threw that shit out bro wine is so nasty i don't know how people drink it we I did like, wine tasting it's trash literally we had three sips we had th three little glasses of wine took a sip out of each one of them and we, we were feeling buzzed i don't know how yeah that was so bad now i know why that one movie the girl was addicted to wine like how she got mad and stuff and went to sleep you know oh, what stop don't remind me that movie give me the freaking hippie jibbies <laughs> the one the girl from the window or something yeah the, like that? The, the, ne the next door neighbor i don't know what it was called oh but yeah no that that thing gave me the hippie jibbies yeah but today's podcast was like a little rant what happened our little situations in europe if you yeah. enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe we will also be doing another podcast very soon for y'all and with a special guest something inspirational <laughs> and motivational so stay tuned for that <laughs> and the, the girls are getting in the way but yeah they're getting anxious they want to go outside already. let's let's wrap this up thank you guys so much for watching this podcast and we will see you in the next one bye, bye.